What a beautiful song. Yes. That, is, that is the most beautiful song. It really speaks to my heart. And it's all about Jesus. It's all about his great love yes. and the story that he <clears throat> saves us. Jesus saves us from sin and from bondage. Mm -hmm. And I have a short message today. We're called to serve. It's all about Jesus delivering us the great God who loves us. In Exodus, um, it tells us, as Marlene read, God's call for his people was clear when he sent Moses and Aaron to Pharaoh. God called and said, let my people go. And I want to have a short prayer before I start. Dear God in heaven, be with me and uh, may my words be your words and may it reach the heart of your people that they may be delivered from anything that would hinder them knowing and loving you and obeying you in jesus name amen, amen. so when moses came to Aaron, to pharaoh he said let my people go that they may serve me but pharaoh did not easily release his iron grasp upon God's people. He dealt deceitfully with Israel, just as the devil deals deceitfully with us. Let's study his compromises. When Moses asked him to let his people go, he sent plagues because he wouldn't let them go. Go, sir. Go sacrifice to your God in the land, Exodus 8, 25. That's after the plagues started falling, and he relented. But then he changed his mind, and the next compromise to not let God's people go was only ye shall go, but not very far. That's in the 28th verse. And then the third compromise, go now ye that are men and serve the Lord, only the men. Still a compromise, Exodus 10, 11. Number four, go ye serve the Lord, but let your flocks and your herds be stayed in the land. More plagues fell. And then Pharaoh finally said, go serve the Lord. As you have said, Exodus 12, 31, in the land. So God calls Israel to get out of Egypt, just as he calls us to get out of Babylon. Amen. Come out of her, my people. As he tells us, he's coming soon, and he wants us to come out of Babylon. Come out of confusion and follow him. There's much confusion in the land that you can do anything you want to and still be saved. But this is not what God came to do. This is not what he sent his son. He sent him to save us from bondage and from the bondage of sin. Jesus came to save, not in our sins, but from our sins. Matthew 1, I think 21. Jesus does not save us in our sins but from our sins there is no such thing my dear friends as a partial salvation sin is a disease germ that kills us it destroys us and it will kill you it will kill me but there is a solution come to jesus he can save us from our sins as he told nicodemus you must be born again get out of sin and let sin get out of us when we go to jesus he can solve the problem he can save us from our sins pharaoh says i will not let you go but then he relented and said you can go but don't go far away see how the devil would have us linger near egypt near enough to see the sights to hear the sounds, to breathe the tainted air, near enough to be contaminated, tempted, drawn back, 
into the middle of iniquity, just like when a tornado hits and it starts spinning and it starts doing its destruction. If we get in there in the middle of sin, it will destroy us. It is slavery. So he is a tyrant. He would keep us in slavery. He would rule us, mind, body, and soul. Satan says to many who have heard Christ's call, just like Pharaoh, the evil one says, all right, go serve the Lord, but don't go very far. Don't get too careful. Don't worry about the little things. They don't matter. But my dear friends, it's the little foxes that spoil the vines. In France, the small foxes, they have two kinds, the small foxes and they have the large foxes. The large ones they can see, prepare for. The little ones sneak in and destroy the vines before you recognize it. And that's why we can't let the little things in our lives draw us away from God and draw us into sin. The serpent is there. He likes to charm us and to make us his prey and then draw the helpless one into the jaws of death. Oh, let us flee from the tempter while we can. Flee from sin. Go serve the Lord as he has said. I am the Lord thy God, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Sin is bondage. I've been there. It's bondage. God is Jesus. is there to give us freedom. Come to him. He will write his perfect laws in our hearts, in our minds. And we can obey him like Abraham, like Moses. He chose rather to suffer affliction with the people of God and to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season. Mm -hmm. And we too can choose God and we can free, be free from bondage because Jesus frees us. When we come to him, he doesn't leave us half saved, half cured from the leprosy of sin. He delivers us and he will never let anyone pluck us out of his hand. Jesus heals the leprosy of sin. Let's go to him. Let's not be separated from him. And now Steve is going to do a sermon to continue how we can be delivered from the bondage of sin and continue his sermon from next week, from last week. May God bless you as you come to him for healing.